Hey, this is Jimbo with the Auto Detailing Podcast, coming back for another video edition. Today, I uh, just released a quick tip on how to clean really nasty rims. And we talked about how uh, using hydrofluoric acid could be very beneficial and a big time saver. But today, I wanted to talk about how to clean a rim like this uh, rinselessly or without a pressure washer or without even using a hose and how to do it most effectively and most efficiently. So how, how do we do this as fast as possible um, but yet as, as effective as possible. So that's what I want to show you today. So before we get started I just want to recommend to wear gloves. I will put a link to Amazon to buy uh, these exact gloves that I have on right now but I really recommend especially if you're going to be doing this without the use of a lot of water to really have some gloves or else uh, the dirt is just going to get in your nails and, and be really a nightmare to get out. So as you can see, this rim isn't terrible, um, but it is, uh, it could be a lot worse, especially for Mercedes, but it's not, uh, it's not that bad. But still again, here's today's example, so whatever. Uh, a few things, a few tools that you may want to have, but uh, definitely don't have to have, um, are what they call wheel woolies. Um, and that are, that's just brushes to help you get into the rims better, get into tighter spots that maybe your hand can't fit. Now. I prefer uh, the God-given uh, wheel woolly or hand woolly that God gave us in our hands in just a towel. That's my favorite. Uh, uh, sometimes wheel woolies are just another thing that you have to pull out, another thing that you have to remember. Uh, but I will put a link to these uh, in the show notes as well. The, the only wheel woolly that I would really recommend is this lug nut cleaner. Um, you can see there it's specifically made for lug nuts. Um, it has the website on here, it's called brushnut.com. Again, I'll put that in the show notes. Um, but the, the hardest time I have is right around those lug nuts. And that is one thing that if you're a detailer or just a driveway detailer, at home enthusiast, um, that's a place that can really make a lot of difference on the rim um, if you clean around the lug nuts. <clears throat> so this tool will really help you do that. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is soak it with an all-purpose cleaner. Again, there's <clears throat> there's uh, tons of different uh, iron removers and hydrofluoric acid that you can use and stuff like that. But for a rim, that's not that bad. I'm going the least aggressive to the most aggressive. So I'm going to start with an all-purpose cleaner. And I'm really going to make sure that I get into the back side of the rim as well. Now this is going to be challenging because we're not using a pressure washer in this circumstance. So to get to the back side of the rim, we're going to have to get creative. But let's see how we got... Right now, again, this rim is cold, so it hasn't um, it hasn't just been driven on, um, so that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is let that, uh, not working in direct sun, of course. If you are, you're going to have to move a little bit quicker. It can be done in direct sun, you're just going to have to move a little bit quicker. Um, another thing, uh, if you're using hydrofluoric acid, which I'll be doing a video on, you definitely probably want to have eye protection, maybe even a mask, um, depending. So. I'm going to let that dwell on there for a little bit. And then I have my bucket over here. And I have some ONR in this bucket. And just kind of like my rim towel that I call it. Um, and what I do is I usually work from the outside back in. So really getting in there. Again, this isn't ideal to be doing without a pressure washer, but it can be done. Again, this is another reason why you really want to make sure you're wearing these gloves, because you're reaching in here to get the, the really dirty stuff. And you really want to make sure that you're just getting all areas of the rim working from the inside out, getting the brake caliper. Ugh. 
This is where you could use the wheel wooly, and I may even demo it just because to show you guys how to do it. So if you had this, if you're using this wheel wooly, want to get it wet, it may make it a little easier to get like behind the rim, behind the brake caliper, up top. It, again, if you don't want to reach all the way in there. Can make it a little easier. They do make different wheel woolies. This isn't the only one, obviously. They have ones that could be a little bit better. But here's my favorite. My favorite wheel woolly. Take that, kind of shove it in there. And that's going to enable you to clean right around that lug nut. Without messing it up. And you can really see the dirt come through. After you've done that last rinse, you can then begin to just dry the rim as normal with microfiber towel. And that's how you can clean a rim without a pressure washer using only an all-purpose cleaner.